So, hello, good day everyone. So, this is the process of our activity in part 2, the parallel disease circuits in figure 1.3. So, first thing we do is we are going to construct this figure in the circuit construction online. Okay, so we're done. Now we're going to put the values. So in our voltage, we have 8.0 volts. Then a resistor 1 will be 1000 ohms. Then a resistor resistance 2 is 2200. So we can now clearly see our values. So after constructing the circuit, we determine the theoretical voltages at points A, B, and C with respect to the ground. And we get the values by Using the theoretical voltage formula, here, which is V times, I, I mean V equals the current times resistance or voltage is equal to the product of the current and the resistor. So, in the table, we have the values which is which is in voltage A we have 0 0.096 in voltage B we have 8 in voltage C we have 8.8 .8. but before that um, I forget to to measure the current so, so in A, we have 0 0.012 ampere. So in B, point B, we have 0 0.08. In point C, we have 0 0.004 ampere. So that is why... I use it in here by getting the voltage theoretical voltage of point A, B, and C. So by getting the values, you I plotted it in here as the theory. So in after that, we read the VC voltage by applying it to the circuit from point A to ground by using the voltmeter. So in point A, we have 8. 0 0.00 volts in point B we have the same voltage and also 2C so in measuring the DC voltage we see that point A, B and C has the same voltage of 
8.00 so I plot it in here so next is item number 2 where applying the Ohm's law to determine the expected Q runs through R1 and R2 back so using the formula I equals V divided by R. So the expected current of resistance 1 is calculated here and it is and is and it is equal to 0 0.008 while in the expected current of resistance 2 is 0 0.004 ampere and the total supplied current is 0 0.012 ampere so that is what i put it in here the value so next is item number three this is the time we measure the dc current so the instrument which is used to measure the direct current is called the DC ammeter. So we have we are going to use this one as the instrument. So we place this in the resistor in parallel with the permanent magnetic moving coil or the PMMC galvanometer. Then the entire combination acts as DC ammeter. So first we have to measure the Total supplied current by placing the DMM between points A and B. So, here is our point A and point B. So, we are going to place this current here. So, make sure our it is near in the positive. So we have 0.012A. Oh no, I mean. I mean the points A and B. So we have the Q rent of 0.012 ampere. Next. In R1, we are going to place the and the DC uh, the DMM here. So here is it. We're going to place this in here. So in resistance one we have the current of 0 0.008 ampere next one is the r the resistance 2 we're going to measure the circuit of this one by using the ammeters So, in resistance 2, we have 0 0.004 ampere. And I plot it here in the measured column, which is in, which is, this is the value we get with a total of 0 0.012, the same as in the theory. Then by determining the percent deviation, we get it by dividing the average deviation of these two and the mean also and times 100 and is equal to 100%. It means that the circuit is 100% parallel. Then... In item 4, 
we have to next thing is in item 4 we have to cross check the theoretical results by computing the two resistor currents through the current dividing rule so here we use the current dividing rule where i've made a table so that it can be easily solved and identified so e is the total volts which is we have the 8.0 volts right so in our total current in resistance 1 is 0 0.008 and in resistance 2 is 0 0.004 with a total of 0 0.012 so in our resistance by using this formula the total is 666.7 ohms and in the total what do you mean the current dividing rule is we use the then this formula then we plot then we substitute the value so the tot the total of resistance 1 is 0 0.008 divided by the overall total of i mean the current so 0 0.012 then we got the 0 0.600 then we got 0 0.66667 and in resistance 2 we got 0 0.3333 then finally we use the current divider formula which is this one the current total divided by the resistance total over r n then in resistance 1 We've got 0 0.008 and in resistance 2, we've got 0 0.00364 and equivalent to 0 0.004. Then we put the values here as the CDR theorem. And that is in figure in 1.3 For the current R1, we have 0 0.010. And for the R2, we have 0 0.05. And for the R3, 0 0.03. And for R4, 0 0.01. And to determine the current of X, IX, Dili do siya in measure between C and D. C and B. C and D. Day. 0 0.05. Ito mo siya ang current. Then, ibutang siya din sa table 1.7. And sa iyang voltage, 
Kung i-measure na to for letter A, we have 10. Letter B, same. C, D, and E, same voltage siya sila tanan. 